I just picked this fan out of the garbage because I figured I might use it to build another air cleaner and I just plugged it in and turning it on it doesn't run doesn't even hum so I'm guessing it's either the power cord the switch or a thermal fuse in the motor This needs to go up and then this one can go in. I have no intention of actually putting this back together so I don't have to worry about getting it right. So now with it plugged in, let's see how far the volts are actually getting. So at the end of the power cord, let's see. 120 volts, okay. Let's put it on the third setting. So the red wire here should also have the 120 volts on it. And it does, which means the problem is upstream from, or downstream from here. So either in this wire or in the motor. is that somewhere in this bundle may be a thermal fuse. At any rate, I need to be able to probe around here somewhere because I don't know if the electricity is not getting through the wire or being interrupted right here. Another check, if there is a thermal fuse in here, it's likely to be on the common wire. And the common wire would be the black one, whereas these ones are three taps in one of the windings to control the speeds. And just measuring the resistance between taps here, I have 47 ohms here, 23 ohms here, and just measuring to the black one, I probably have infinite. Infinite. So either the black wire is interrupted or it's broken with a thermal fuse in here. So it's possible that the wire just broke from all the oscillating back and forth, but I'm guessing there's a thermal fuse in here that's the problem. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to get into here. This may not be worth trying to fix. Uh-oh. And I just yanked the wires off and broke them. Not worth fixing anymore, but let's see, actually it turns out the black wire, that's this one here, is in series with this little guy here, and I would guess that that is a thermal fuse, so if I can get on the other side of that wire and take a quick reading, that's probably a open circuit, oh, I just broke that. Yeah, it's completely open. I stripped that wire a bit more just to make sure I have good contact with it. I can't even find a conductor in there. Oh, there is one. And let's measure that again. So it's reading mega ohms, and that's probably my fingers. Yeah, as soon as I let go, it reads infinite. So the electricity had to go through this. This thing opened up circuit, probably because it overheated at some point, and that's the end of that fan. So if I had anticipated that the fuse was right here, I could have just taken it off and shorted it, but that's not ideal either. 
Given the way I've yanked the wires out of here, not worth fixing. So that's how it goes sometimes. I find fans like that in the garbage so often it's not really worth putting too much effort trying to fix one. Bit of a surprise finding, I was able to just whack the shaft right out of the motor. And this shaft is 8mm so I'm saving that and the bearings. The rest is junk. And here's another part I'm saving, the uh, run capacitor because those sometimes go bad. I hope this one's still good.